today we will start with unit 4 section 2 that is the stranger the stranger means the person whom we don't know okay in this lesson a boy's name is jason let us start the lesson i try to imagine if my grandfather would be like my father tall and strong or like my mother short delicate and talkative i had forgotten whether he was my paternal or maternal grandfather even after searching my my mind for early images of my grandfather i couldn't remember anything about him we all stood expectantly expectantly means eagerly at the airport watching the passengers file out into the receiving room grandfather's chinese background made him impossible to miss dressed in a traditional blue jacket he walked with the dignity of a general inspecting his troop his penetrating black eyes scanned the hall in search of us my parents rushed to greet him in an excited voice my father called out ni hao ni hao ni the sin ti kan chi li hin hao means hello are you tired from your trip you look great my parents said much more but i could not longer follow grandfather gave us all hugs and kisses yet my brother and i stood apart wondering what to do for we had just realized that he spoke only chinese under the frowning eyes of my parents i said hesitantly yi yi ni hao wo i felt uh, trying to remember what i was supposed to say My grandfather looked first at me then at my parents my mother explained that we were poor as in chinese as he was in english now a month had already passed since his grandfather has arrived so this boy jason was not knowing his language chinese language and his grandfather only knows a chinese language so he was not talking to much with him so one day afternoon while his brother was busy in playing games suddenly he went to his grandfather he stood at one place staring so the grandfather was staring outside the window his eyes were filled with loneliness and frustration so this jason was thinking what had happened to grandfather he is just standing alone and thinking about something and his grandfather have brought a gift for them that they are not able to understand because in that gift it was a languages written in chinese so they were not able to understand so there were symbols in their chinese language so this boy was not able to understand the chinese language and he just waited there and saw his face he was somewhat serious grandfather and he was thinking about something about past and he was lonely jason thought that he had been feeling loneliness but he didn't say anything he went away back and one day after few days later jason talked to his father that why grandfather is not talking to much with others what had happened to him so at that time his dad told to him i will tell you one incident what had happened before this incident was in 1946 right after world war 2 your uncle and i were just babies then your grandfather and grandmother put all their money and valuable things in our diapers as we rushed to get on a ship before it was too late 
soldiers patrolled everywhere, so we had to be careful. Despite our precaution, the soldiers stopped us about three miles from the sea. But at the very moment, they were distracted by another person. Then made a break for it with us and managed to board one of the last ships to Taiwan. They had left their homeland forever on a journey to Taiwan and an uncertain future. So this was the incident happened with the grandfather. Now Jason was somber. The whole night in bed he was thinking about the two different cultures as he was not able to sleep. Only a question was nagging in his mind. Why wasn't I more like my parents? Now autumn warned. Warned means past. And soon Christmas was. And soon. And soon Christmas was on everyone's mind. What was I to get for my grandfather? He decided to bring a headset for grandfather and he is thinking whether he would like his gift or not. Then what happened? He brought a gift for him and they have gathered around a fire next to their Christmas tree on Christmas Eve and sang Silent Night. Although grandfather had not understood complete the hol- completely the holiday of Christmas, he did his best to sing along. The next morning, he opened our gifts with the usual excitement and accompanies Christmas morning. And Jason was wondering what grandfather would think of my gift after seeing the headset. His face showed a blank. He didn't understand at all. Then... His mother, Jason's mother, came to rescue. She put in a Chinese tape and showed him how to use it. A white grin appeared as he listened on his new headset. His eyes glowed bright as he gave him a big hug. This time he hugged him back. February was the month of the Chinese New Year. A whole family, Jason's whole family, drove from Naperville to Chinatown in Chicago. The streets were crowded and there were neon lights flashing Chinese characters. I couldn't read. Now Jason is not able to read because it is Chinese language. Grandfather seemed much at home, pointing here and there and explaining what was going on in the street. A brilliant full moon symbolizing the new year showed off its full splendor. As we watched the celebration, he watched his grandfather again. He was enjoying himself to the fullest, experiencing a culture rich in tradition and custom, a culture that was his own. He turned his head towards him. Finally, his eyes locked with his and he they both smiled at the same time so at last of this lesson it is said that finally grandfather and the jason they both looked at each other and smiled means that they started understanding each other so this lesson was about jason and his grandfather Jason was waiting for his grandfather at the airport. When he came, he was not able to talk too much because Jason don't know the Chinese language. And the grandfather only know the Chinese language. So like that, it started. He living with them. Then first, he was not able to talk with him. Then slowly, slowly, they started talking with each other. But at the end of the lesson it is said that they started understanding each other okay